There are no constraints on the human mind. No walls around the human spirit. No barriers to our progress except those we ourselves erect. Make your life a story worth telling. Okay, welcome to Kazcast episode 18. Today on the podcast, we welcome professional MMA fighter Claudia Diaz. Claudia is originally from Barcelona in Spain, but after a trip to Thailand in 2015 to do some training, Claudia soon fell in love with Thailand and decided to make the move to train in Phuket on a full-time basis. Claudia found a home at the legendary Tiger Muay Thai and has recently fought in two bouts in the one warrior series so thanks for coming on the podcast claudia i really appreciate it hello okay so um when uh just thinking back when was uh that first moment that you realized that you wanted to become uh, a fighter when, when did that all start for you this started about four years ago when i started training and my, my trainer say to me if I want fight, and in the moment I am say no because I I don't know who make this. But after one week, he say let's go, you can, you can, and finally I fight. Yeah. And after about one year, I take the decision come to Thailand, and I like the live here. And I come and I start to do my professional career here. Okay, so your first fight was that in in Spain, and what um, what discipline of fighting was that? Was that just striking, or what fighting uh, did you do in Spain? Yes, I start training full contact. is similar like taekwondo, uh, and I start to fight in light contact. And after about one year and a half fighting there. Using amateur, I come to Thailand and I fight for first time here in Muay Thai. Yeah. And when I start and come back to Spain, I start to fight kickboxing there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And who were who were sort of your in- inspirations like for getting into fighting? Uh, what do you think your sort of main motivations were for for, for getting into um, kickboxing and and Muay Thai and eventually MMA? Um, who sort of inspired you to do it and um, was it something you always wanted to do? Who made me motivated for training was my trainer, my first trainer. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I think me myself because I come from don't do nothing, any sport. And, and just I start training and I think my first motivation I'm myself. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh, in the podcast, you said that recently that you were on and uh, you said that your granddad used to be a fighter. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So maybe um, you've always had that in your, uh, sort of in your family. Uh-huh, yes. My my mom is okay with, with my election, come here and live here and make my career here. Hey, it's okay, it's happy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay. So in Spain, um, other sports uh, such as football, basketball, tennis are really big sports. Um, how is mixed martial arts viewed in Spain? Is it a popular sport or is it growing in Spain, mixed martial arts? Uh, just now it's start growing in uh, the MMA in Spain, but not, not too much famous like here or, or in America or like football, there the, every people tra- uh, play in football or basket, but it's growing just now. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and with uh, big organizations like the UFC, is it just grown in popularity um, since like UFC and Bellator, uh, One FC, since then as as have more Spanish fighters started coming over to Asia and Thailand like yourself and, and moving um, moving over to, to Thailand? Uh, yes, just now have uh, some Spanish 
guys in Combate Americas and in UFC too. I have one two two guys from Spain and in one championship I'm just me, but maybe yeah. in the future have some Spanish too. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so what first uh, drew you to Thailand? What was it about Thailand? Um, and in particular, what was it about Tiger Muay Thai um, that, that drew you over there? Why did you want to go to Tiger Muay Thai uh, in particular? I really don't know too much about Tiger Muay Thai before come here. Just one friend who trained before with me in my gym in Spain, him say here is good and have many people and him talk about this gym. And I was in Bangkok some days for holidays and at finally I come here in Phuket and I found this this gym and I like a lot and now it's my second house. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Good. Um, and what did you love about Thailand uh, when you first arrived, uh, like the culture? And could you see yourself setting up a future in Thailand straight away? Did you know that you definitely wanted to come back um, quite soon? I really like here the people, the energy, and because here every people is happy. Yeah. And, and here have many people who fight and who who know about this life for this I like. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. And through um, fighting and, and going through all the hard training, I'm guessing you make some amazing friendships and bonds with people that you train with. Yes, here have many people from around the world, from every country, they come training, sometimes very good fighters, so it's, it's very nice for training. Yeah, brilliant, that's good. Um, so when you're, when you're training and you're preparing for a fight, um, what does your weekly training schedule look like at, at Tiger Muay Thai? And, and um, is there one coach in particular that plans your training out or are you in charge of your training schedule? Uh, no, I have my uh, scooter. Yeah. Every, every day I have uh, three trainings, morning, afternoon and night. Every, every day I have, depend the day because every day is different. Sometimes I have Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling pads or maybe sparring and conditioning so every day is different sometimes we do techniques sometimes every day is different but yes i have like one routine for yeah. when i when i have fight okay cool and what is your uh, favorite part of training and what part of training uh do you find do you find difficult sometimes the sparring is the most training who I like. Yeah. And the more difficult is wrestling. I think wrestling and jiu-jitsu is the most difficult. Yeah. Yeah. What, when did you start? Um, because you come from a striking background. Was it really, yeah. was it very difficult? When did you find it very difficult transitioning into uh, grappling? So when you started wrestling and jiu-jitsu, I... was it a bit of a surprise and a shock? to sort of how difficult it was, or did you find it? Um, yes, yeah. very difficult. So you say I start about one year and a half, like every day, and yes, it's, it's, it's very difficult, but but if you keep going every day, every day is a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. And do you, yeah. do you think it's very important to train both wrestling and jiu-jitsu? Do you have a... A preference out of the two or do you um you know use both disciplines quite a lot uh, in your uh inspiring and in your in your fights uh, yes yes we need the two things because wrestling and jiu-jitsu is very important like it's the same important like striking the three things very important for for fighting mma yeah and in spain i never trained this so i used to start here yeah okay okay um and what is it about um, the Tiger Muay Thai training system that that you loved? Is it the way they package it all together? Does it feel like uh, you're part of a big family there? Uh, what is it about the the training system that they that they offer that that you love? Oh, the training system here is very good. So every day we train 
every every week we train everything what we need and yes i have a lot very good friends good matches for training because here always uh, we have fights every time so one time you help somebody next time he will help you so yeah. it's yeah. very good and the day off you say have been sundays and I rest, I maybe I go to the beach or maybe you say I was in home because too much tired for all week. Yeah. Well it's a, it's a lovely place to not just train but also like you say to relax in. It's like a a bit of a paradise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. So and also um there I imagine there's a lot of high profile top level fighters. So it's a great place for you to be because you're around some of the best fighters in the world. So um, you must learn all the time off so many different people. Yes, here every time the level is is very high. So every time you train this, yeah, be very good level. So people who come, yeah, with any experience in fight like me, so come and is the the beginner is in shock. But after you you enjoy because you meet the people and yeah. yes, cool. And have you noticed a difference with the coaching uh, styles? Um, it, comparing like a European coaching style and the style of the coaches that are from Thailand, is there a difference to the intensity that the the coaches from Thailand put you through? Is it a higher intensity? Yes, yes. So the, when I do Muay Thai, like today, the training is, is different. It's... Uh, very very hard. Always they push you, or always this make you run and do many things, <laughs> many repetitions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes uh, too much. But <laughs> they say it's like this, and you okay, okay. I need yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I uh, I went. My, my another trainer is from trainers from America, and he's George Hickman and Frank Hickman, and this. Uh, it's very nice trainers and head coach. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, I thought that was the case because I went to Thailand a year ago and I, I booked in for a a, a pad session with a um, a, a trainer from Thailand and he nearly killed me within an hour. So, yeah, it's it's hard it's hard work, but that's good. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So. How do you, uh, when you've got a fight coming up, how do you prepare um, in terms of putting a fight camp together? How long do you give yourself? Um, and also, what do you do for uh, like strength and conditioning? So just general strength and fitness. Um, how does that look for you when you're preparing for uh, a fight? Uh, when I was here, I'm uh, training. So just now I, I fight Ten days ago, and I broke my nose. But today I come back to training because here always you need to be ready because every time you need fight, you need money too, and yeah. you never know when you have fight. Maybe I fight. sometimes they ask like about ten days. In ten days you can go and make this weight and go. Yes, okay. So okay. always you need to be ready. Yeah, so always here, ready. Every time is training, and when you get fight, you. Training a little bit more, more hard, maybe one session more or more parts. Yeah. Or more focus in what do you go fight because sometimes I fight just K1 and I uh, train in just kickboxing or my die, more parts session conditioning. But when I have uh, MMA, more parts for MMA or wrestling, you need to. Okay. So at the moment, you could fight. Um... You could fight K1, you could fight Muay Thai, you could fight MMA. Are you doing lots of disciplines at the moment for future fights or are you mainly focusing on mixed martial arts in particular? Yeah, yes, my focus is in MMA, in martial arts, but uh, here we need still fighting every time and fight. I think fighting K1 or Muay Thai here in Phuket is very good for you to get experience forget money of course yeah. and experience too for for always when you go to the ring be more be more confident yeah yeah for sure um so what about your uh, your fitness training your general strength and conditioning uh, when do you fit that in um because you're doing you're training so much by the sounds of it already 
What about general fitness, um, strength training? When when do you do that, and how much do you do? Uh, normally, when I'm in camp, I do two sessions, no, three sessions for week. In Thursday, Tuesday, and Saturday, we have conditioning. In Saturdays, we have conditioning just for the people who want to fight. And in Tuesday and Thursday, we have for one class just for for fighters too. Um, yeah. Use this and and sometimes I do weights to use because I like. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, and what about making weight? So when you're trying to make weight, is making weight easy for you? Is it hard? And and what about have you got a nutritionist? So someone who plans out uh, your nutrition? Are you very strict with your nutrition? Um, how does that look for you? Your nutrition? Uh, um, I try to to eat always clean or always good sometimes yeah. in the weekend yes of course or after fights of course i, I eat more yeah. more than normally but in the winter <laughs> you have to. i like yeah. it a little bit good and now in one championship i cannot put weight so i always say i need be around the weight maybe one or two kilograms more up but yes if i i need good weight for fighting k1 or something i make so now maybe next month or one month and a half I go to China and maybe I need to lose four or five kilograms. Yeah. So use a good weight with water. Uh, okay. This. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and then lastly, what about preparing mentally for for a fight? Do you have a particular strategy for keeping yourself relaxed or focused? Or do you get quite fired up before a fight? What's your approach mentally to a fight? Oh, me, I always am nervous because I think every fighter yeah. before go to fight is nervous. It's natural. You need yeah. the nervous too. But in the beginning, I feel very nervous always. And now I feel better when when I stop in the ring. And after the first punch, you your nervous go go away. <laughs> yeah, they go. As soon as you start and throw some punches and kicks, all the nerves go away. Yeah, yeah. When you are, or maybe in a half one round, you yeah. okay. Yeah, all yeah. the all the adrenaline kicks in, and yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So, have you got a particular uh goal for your MMA career? What would you love to happen in the future for yourself? Um. Uh, in in uh, mixed martial arts, and when you finish fighting, what what are your plans for after? I don't have plans yet in this because I just start my career now, so yep. I don't thinking about this. But but yes, what I want is grow in my career, like fighter in MMA. And I think use this. I don't have like one. I cannot say, oh, I want this belt or this belt or this belt. No, yep. I want just keep fighting and keep showing what, what I can do, what I can how I work and the things gonna come you say think this yeah definitely you just need to enjoy the process and keep getting better every yes. day need yeah. enjoy the process because it's the most important yeah that's because brilliant I think some people fight use for money or use for half name or for mm -hmm. this but I don't do for this I use do because I like do yeah yeah you're doing you're doing it for the the experience uh, as well uh, and, and yeah. growing as a person yeah. that's great yeah. now I always asked uh, the guest about um, the an area of inspiration so uh, a person that who has inspired you um, during your uh, mixed martial arts career who, who who has inspired you in your life uh, really uh, here my uh, I think my trainers here in Tiger my die because they they show me everything in, in MMA. Uh, my trainer, my head coach, George Kidman, and and the trainers in, in Jiu Jitsu and the trainers in wrestling, they is the people who who show me everything and who who stay around me just now. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Okay, uh, Claudia, I really appreciate you coming on and talking to me because um, I know you're super busy and doing this all the way from Thailand that's really cool so yeah thank you very much for coming on I really appreciate it thank you for you no you're welcome okay guys I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you soon peace <laughs>